moment. <clears throat> well, no, I just remembered why I even started YouTube. It was because during COVID time, you know, everyone was home, right? Watching YouTube and all that bullshit. Then TikTok, I think that's when TikTok came out. I don't remember. She was a long time ago. And then everyone was sad and depressed and all that bullshit. And I was like, you know, this would be a great opportunity to just start a YouTube career and make people happy. And make people look forward to something. Uh, my YouTube channel used to be family friendly. I didn't cuss at all. And you do it for so long, because I've done it for five, six years. You do it for so long that you kind of just outgrew that. You know, people are not getting younger, you're getting older. And you know, the older they get, the more they understand everything. And most, most of my audience are 18 to 20. So, it's only fair, you know. Um, so I try to not post, you know, adult shit. Just, you know, f mix a family friendly to, you know, not family friendly. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But mostly it's not family friendly. That's why you have to be 18 to watch my shit. Um, I, I cuss a lot. I have, fuck, um, I do, I really do, and then I play games that have guts and all that, how can you be family friendly if game have guts and shit, and well, and then I looked into Corey Kinchin, he did it for a long ass time, he was family friendly the entire time in his career, but it must have been really hard to do so, because you play a lot of games that aren't family friendly, they're just gruesome as fuck. And then I just, um, I just eased into just, fuck it. We're just not going to do family friendly. Because when I started out, YouTube and everything, it was just, um, my phone, uh, ZTE, search that up. It's a phone that has a shitty quality camera and a shitty microphone. And then I had a makeshift tripod. And then I pointed at my TV and I recorded it. That's how I was doing it. I did Bioshock. Um, one, two, I think there's a third one, I don't remember. And I did everything. I was playing with it. I started off from PS4. And I was playing it like a motherfucker. And eventually, I got older. I started working for McDonald's. So I did my own shit. Uh, I had my own recording equipment. Um, I still have the same camera that I bought a long last time ago. I just don't use it at all because it's no point. I have my phone, and my phone's better quality than most fucking phones anyway, so. And now when you get older, you get a better job and shit, and I'm able to get a bunch of more shit. I got a fucking PS5 that I do live streams on. And eventually I'm about to buy me a laptop so I can go back into the YouTube career and so I can actually play more horror games because I got kind of missed it. <laughs> um, uh, and VR content. VR content has been the most hardest thing to do lately uh, because it's fucking quest to fucking trying to export the files, video files to a computer or to my phone, try to edit it. It takes a long ass time. I ain't got time for that. I really don't. So I stopped doing that shit. But eventually, once the laptop comes in, um, it's supported by VR, so... Or, it, it can support VR, I mean. So I can, I can do VR content on it and all that. Um, but, you know, the reason why I haven't really been uploading or anything is because, well, first, I don't have a laptop. But second, you know, I work too much. It's just, like aggressive hours I get up by 11 a.m. get home by 7 I'm tired as fuck don't feel like recording I go to bed <laughs> just same shit over there I just like just this week I worked five days straight 11 to 7 which it's fine I can do that but doing stuff afterwards like recording or playing games in general it's just kind of tiring because you got to play a game when you're not in the mood and then try to you know, commentate 
and everything when you don't have the energy to do it. And it's hard to like the it. I don't know if people understand that shit, but it's is I only got this job so I can have my own life because I'm not probably not gonna be a YouTube person whatever forever. It just is just for a hobby, you know. But then you get a thousand people watching you. Like, not, I don't get a thousand people watching me a day or a week or anything. But you, people, like subscribers wise, get a thousand people. And then you'd be like, oh, well, you think it's mandatory to just, you know, post a video, which is not. It's really not. Like, I could set up a schedule to record and all that, but I'm not going to follow by it because, you know, I work too much. And then when I start up school, because I'm a senior now, when I start my senior year, I'm working 5 to 10, you know, and I definitely won't have time to record, um, but it, it's, it's difficult to record sometimes when you don't have the energy, I know, I know there's a bunch of people that do, do it a lot, like, there's one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, well, I have a lot. Mark Plyer, Cub Scouts, and the Rad Brad. The Rad Brad, he is actually pretty cool because I watched him in 2012. That's when I started watching him. Or 2013, I don't remember. And he had a job while well, doing YouTube. I cannot do that. It's like I'll post here and there. Like if I have my day off, I just want to relax. I'm sore because I work at Kroger's. And most people out of the States. Uh, don't know what Kroger's is. It's a fucking grocery store. If you need to, you can search it up. And I work in a dairy department. And, you know, I lift shit 24-7. Heavy shit. And then doing all that shit hours on end. You know, you get tired as fuck. Um. But. Yeah, even some of my friends from school found me on YouTube and started following me and all that. Uh, they don't make fun of me at all. Uh, there's even actually half the school knows me from YouTube, I think. I don't remember. Some people came up to me. Um, but I'm not a famous guy at all. I'm not not at all. I don't think I am. No, I don't think I am. I'm not a top sh fucking top guy to record or whatever. The top, I'm, I'm not famous. I know that. Do I want to be? Yeah, everyone does. Everyone wants to be famous and, you know, be known for. But is it mandatory? No. I do this for fun. Fun only. I make people's days. That's it. That's all that matters. But, you know, it was one time, you know, a long time ago when I started my live stream. Uh, not live stream. Uh, when I started my YouTube career. Or in the middle of it, I was playing Rec Room with Meek and Bonnie on that, and I did live streams. Uh, it was on a PSVR, and there was this time where this kid, this guy, was having trouble because his grandma was like, had cancer or some shit. He still follows me, and he still likes my video. And, you know, I try to make him happy. Did it work? I don't know. I tried my best, and that's all that matters. But, you know, that's enough ranting for the day. Um, I still, I'll still try to upload as much as I can. But, don't, don't keep checking your phones and shit waiting for me, because I don't think it will be exactly the moment you think like other youtubers they have made a career of it so they get paid for it so that's the only thing they do it'd be nice if i could do that but youtube isn't for everyone so that's what i have to understand anyway i'll see you guys maybe in the next video um so yeah